Oh, yeah, that's right. It is Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden of the Garage here in beautiful Alabama on this wonderful, beautiful Tuesday. Well, this morning I had to go to the eye doctor. Let me tell you what. You know, they check my eyes and all that crap. And then they dilated my eyes and I was like, wait a minute, I don't have a driver. And they were like, oh, well, here, use these sunglasses to go ahead and, uh, you know, calm the light down. Now, I don't know if anybody has ever done this, but driving with dilated eyes um, gives you a whole new perspective. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was tripping on acid. Anyway, all right. We've got five of these little beauties to show off today. All right. And, uh, well, we're going to start off here with Roberta Corkum. Okay, now, Roberta, she purchased the console off the website from us. This one is a 2 terabyte RGH3. It's got a mechanical... Uh, uh, hard drive in it, 7200 RPM, 128 meg cache. All right, and then, of course, this is RGH3, so we're going to fire it up. Going to make sure everything is right and tight. And I'm going to swap over to the capture card. And, of course, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sync this controller up here. And then we're going to go through this thing, okay? All of these have a one-year part and label warranty on them, of course. You've got Time on Alliance servers as well. And, of course, they got all the modifications that you could ever want, and then some. And then you can even add more to it if you want, okay? And this one is a full 2 terabyte monster, okay? So, we're going to go through this thing, all right? And, hopefully, okay, everything is going to turn out all right, okay? So, we'll hit that, and that's our CFBR updater. Uh, and, right now, we're already up to date. Uh, version 18 is supposed to come out for the Xbox 360. Now, mind you, it's been out for, for the PS3. It's been out for the PC and then they were like, "Well, guys, we're gonna have we're, we're gonna have to do something with the Xbox 360. It's gonna be a little bit a, a little bit later on uh, for that." And I'm like, "Going like, great. What else is new?" So anyway, okay, for right now it's up to date. As soon as it gets up to date, as soon as uh, v, uh, version 18 comes out, we're gonna put it on our server. So that way, then you can download the update through the uh, one button updater. Okay, instead of going to the GitHub, if you if, you can go to the GitHub and get it if you want. But you know, if you want to use the, uh, the the one button updater, we can do it that way too. Okay. So anyway, let's go through this thing, okay? Now, we'll go ahead, we'll go to Xbox 360. As you can see, very, very snappy hard drive. All right, we start off at the dashboard, and we'll work our way through. As you can see, you got all your Call of Duties on there. Battlefield, Bioshock, Borderlands. I mean, you've got a ton of stuff on here, as you can see. Castle, uh, Castlevania, you know, College Hoops 2K8, so on and so forth. You know, and I mean, and it just goes on and on and on. You got Family Guy on there. You got all your Gears of War series on there. You got your Grand Theft Auto series. You got Guitar Hero on there. You got, uh, what you call it, your Halo series. Kane and, Lynch, Kane and Lynch. A bunch of Lego stuff on there. All right, you got Madden. You got your Mafia. You got your Mass Effect trilogy. Medal of Honor, Midnight Club, Baseball, Basketball, Ninja stuff, Anime. Uh, you know, you got uh, NBA 2K10 through... NBA 2K17, you got NBA Jam on there, you got NCAA Football 10, all the way through 14, and that has college football revamped on it, of course. NHL 12, Ninja Blade, so on and so forth. Uh, driving games, um, you know, Resident Evil at the Yin Yang as well. Uh, you got a ton of stuff on here, and I mean a ton. Spider-Man, Sonic, you name it, it's going on and on and on, as you can see. You got a ton of stuff with your wrestling and all that crap. And finally, we're back to the dashboard. Okay. <laughs> If that don't keep you busy, I don't know what will. All right, now, Xbox Live Arcade, all right? As you can see, we have Xbox Live Arcade on here as well. We got Bogeyman, Wallace and Gromit, and um, we got a ton of Xbox Live Arcade on there. We're still going. We're still going. All kinds of crazy stuff on there, all the way back to Pac-Man and Defender and all that crap, so on and so forth. We should be coming back up on Wallace and Gromit anytime soon. Yep, there we are. So there's your Xbox Live Arcade. And, of course, you have your homebrew section. This is where all your tools reside. And then you have indie games on here as well. You got Mammaries. I mean, the amazing Princess Sarah. And then, of course, you got uh, Screw Them in a Trailer Park and Pay Child Support twice, okay? So on and so forth. And classic games, all right? Now, you got a ton of original Xbox games on here. To play original Xbox games, you got to put the console in bypass mode, which I explained in the startup setup video that I'm going to send you along with the link to this video. Okay, please watch that before you power your console on. It explains a lot of stuff. If you don't, if you power it on without watching that video, and you, you're not up on your network, you're going to be sitting at that Xbox 360 logo for a long time. You don't want to do that. But anyway, 
this is all your original games right here okay as you can see these are all original xboxes uh pardon me for not having the title artwork on there but that's because of uh, aurora and hopefully i'll be able to get the title artwork uh sooner or later to be able to, to take care of that all right but anyway as you can see you got a ton of original xbox games on there emulators okay got a ton of them you got super nintendo nintendo game boy advance sega mame playstation back to super nintendo okay there is there is like over nine thousand roms on there so you need the side scrollers the older games the older console games and everything this is the place to be all right now we'll go ahead we'll hit xbox 360 once again we'll make sure that we hit the dashboard all right and there we are okay we'll bypass the sign in as you can see this up is online with a good kv all right if you open the guide button up you will see that um in, in our first tab right here well second tab i should say you'll see x community beta all right x community is a matchmaking service okay so then that way then it, it coincides and works with uh, microsoft's original matchmaking okay except now you could play halo on this thing with a bunch of friends and everything else i mean it's crazy okay when you hit x community what will happen is it'll give you this screen right here you'll hit okay and then you can see these are public sessions there's nine public sessions right now FIFA 19, as you can see, COD, Black Ops 2, Left 4 Dead, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2. These are all joinable, by the way. You know, you, you'll see what's joinable and what isn't, so on and so forth. And there's 10 sessions now. There's 10 of them. So there you go. All right. And then, of course, you can see the players that are on there. Now, the, uh, there, there's your uh, there's your users that's on this thing, as you can see. And, their server, and the servers, the respective servers that they're on there. This guy's on Cypher. He's on XB Online. He's on Infinity, so on and so forth, okay? And as you can see, there is a bunch of servers that these people are on. There's there's Alliance right there. Those are people that are on the Alliance server, our server, okay, so on and so forth. And Cypher and XBO and more Alliance and so on and so forth. Your settings, okay? This is what your settings are. Enable or disable X community features. You got your custom matchmaking. You force modded matchmaking. That will force you into a modded uh, session with people, Okay. Change your online status, change your username, and save your settings. All right, all pretty much self-explanatory. We're back out of there. It's a very, very good feature, and it bring and it brings it back to life all the original games because people play them, you know, and they always want to play with people. And sometimes, you, you know, trying to find a game is a nightmare. Well, not on this thing. Okay, you'll find plenty of games. All right, in your fifth tab are your cheats. You got advanced warfare cheats, ghost cheats, BO2 cheats, and modern warfare three cheats. Okay, to disable hit A, to enable hit A. Okay. Uh, for advanced warfare, you just hold in on the left trigger, push down on the uh, left D-pad. That'll open it up, okay? Use A to select, use B to back out, so on and so forth. You'll also use the D-pad left and right. On some of them, you'll notice that they have arrows on, on, on the cheats, which means you go left or right to, to enable those, those settings because there's multiple settings on those, all right? The, and then to close the menu, just hold in the left trigger, or push down on the left D-pad, and that will close the menu out, okay? It works for all of them right there, okay? Now, we'll bring this back to Xbox Home. And that will take us back. You also have Buffington Mod Loader on there for GTA 4. You got parts for GTA 5. Okay, uh, Buffington. Hold in left. Hold in on the um, on the L uh, on the LB button. Push in on the left thumbstick. That will open up the Mod Loader, and that works in EFLC and GTA 4. Okay, and there is people that play on GTA 4 and EFLC online, which you can. You just can't play GTA 5 online anymore because Rockstar was a bunch of maniacs and took down the server. Okay, so needless to say, you know there you go. But anyway, listen, uh, I want to thank you for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. Okay, we're going to be shipping it off today. You'll have your tracking number and a link to this video, okay? And which uh, also a link to the uh, startup setup video, which you need to watch. Please watch that before you power this thing on. All right? And again, I want to thank you for your business. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say goodbye to Roberta, okay? I'm going to turn her off. And I'm going to grab hold of... Here we go. Jaquan Zepin. Zepian. Okay, Zepian. I hope it's I, I hope I did not murder your name. I I I I'm just hoping that the A is silent. So it's Jaquan Zepian. Alright. This one is yours. This one is a 120 gig RGH3 model. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna power this thing up. I'm gonna sync the controller right here. There we go. I'm going to swap on over to the capture card. All right, we're booting up. Now, this one's got a little bit smaller of a complement on it. Well, actually, a lot smaller. Okay, it's a 120. Now, you can add an external drive to this thing. You can set the path up in Aurora. And you can uh, 
you know, throw throw discs on it, you know, throw games on it or whatever. And, you know, you can extend it out. So, you know, you don't have to worry about being stuck with just a 120 gig drive. All right. There's our CFPR updater, as I said. I'm more, we're already up to date for right now. All right. And we're going to hit Xbox 360. We start off at the dashboard. Work our way through, as you can see, you got college hoops, Grand Theft Auto, you got Call of Duties on there, and you got NCAA Football 14 with college football revamped, of course. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a couple of Live Arcade games on there, as much as I could fit. And then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside, and what the heck? What do you mean, not fat? I'll give you not fat. See, this is what happens, okay? I hate that stuff. Hang on here, wait a minute. Let me see what happened here. Homebrew section. Oh! Forgot to enable the filter. See, this is what happens. Homebrew. So you got to enable the filter. So you set that and you save it, okay? And then you restart it, okay? And now what will happen is is now now the tools will pop up. Like I said, you got to set you, you got to set Aurora up right, otherwise you wind up with a mess on your hands, okay? So now we go to homebrew and there's your homebrew. See what I'm saying? Okay? That filter makes all the difference in the world. So anyway, start up at the dashboard and as you can see, you got your XM360 dash launch. Uh, simple NAND flasher and back to the Xbox 360 dashboard and of course you got emulators on there you got Super Nintendo Game Boy Advance Sega and then back to Super Nintendo and then of course we're back to show off all right now what we'll do is we'll hit the dashboard make sure that she's up and running right and tight and which of course it will be and there you are and you're up you're on the server of course we'll hit the guide button all right and you have X community beta of course just like in the previous video and then, of course, you have your cheats to disable hit A, to enable hit A. All right? And we'll bring this back to Xbox Home. And pretty much there you have it. Jaquan, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. It's getting shipped out today. You'll have a tracking number. And you'll have it in two to three days. All right? And remember, please watch that startup setup video before you fire this thing up. You got to get it up on your network first, okay? So we're going to go ahead. And what we're going to do is we're going to say goodbye to Jaquan. All right? And like I said, I hope I pronounced his name right. I didn't kill it. Okay, and now we have an old friend of mine, okay, Christina Basket, as in basket case, I'm kidding, okay, uh, I've known Christina for quite some time, she's a really sweet person, okay, this is, uh, she bought this for her husband, okay, which is really nice of her, and uh, this is her RGH right here, and she wanted to do a little update on it and everything, which we did, so now, Christina, this is yours right here, okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to fire this monster up. I'm going to sync on up to the capture card right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sync this controller. Okay, there we go. All right, and we're good. And as you can see, it booted, no problems. All right, and then we're going to go into this thing, okay? You will notice that there is a lot that has been updated uh, since you've been last on the server, actually. Got it, good. Okay. Now, all right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to bring this over to, let's see here, Indie Game, Classic Games, let's see, where the heck is it? There we go, Xbox 360, okay? So now we start off over here, all right? And, of course, you got to have your dashboard and all that. Okay, you got your Borderlands, it's a 320 gig drive, okay? As you can see, your Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto, and yes, I put College Football Revamped on there for you as well, okay? As you can see, Sega, I updated some titles for you and stuff like that. All right, and then, of course, you have Xbox Live Arcade. All right, and you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have uh, your emulators. You got SNES 360, okay? You got the FCE UX, which is Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, and back to SNES 360. All right, and then, of course, you got your Xbox Classic games on there. You got one classic game on there. Now, the reason being is, well, you got indie games, too, all right? But the reason being is, is because I had to do a couple little updates to this thing. All right, and uh, if you'll notice now, okay, because I know your husband is a Grand Theft Auto freak, okay, I gave him, uh, you got Grand Theft Auto 4 on there with Buffington Mod Loader, and you also have episodes from Liberty City as well, okay, so you got a bunch of stuff on there that should keep you busy for a while, okay, now, we'll go ahead, we'll go to the Xbox 360 dashboard, make sure that we hit the dashboard right, and we should, any moment now, it better come up. Otherwise, I'll kill it myself. <laughs> there we are. Okay, and of course, I kept your profile on it. Okay, bypass is on it. As you can see, it is up, it is online, and it is live. Okay, and now, hitting the guide button. Okay, now, this one's for you. Now, you have a lifetime on our server. Okay, you, you purchased that a while ago. Okay, so, you know, 
Anyway, needless to say, all right, you've got X community beta on there, just like I explained in the, in the previous video. Okay, so on and so forth. Download the user settings from the server. Okay, whatever. Okay, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, all right. But anyway, uh, you have X community beta on there. Okay, and then of course you have uh, your cheats now. You have Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, and, and MW3. To disable hit A, to enable hit A, very easy. All right, we'll bring this back over to Xbox Home. All right, and X community just like it is in the other in the other in the other Xbox as well. Okay, just so you know. All right, but it's all done. It's all ready to go. All right, I got you all squared away, so you know what you're doing. All right, and Christina, thank you so much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. We're shipping it off today. Your husband will have it in two to three days, and that way, then he can stop driving you crazy. <laughs> Way. Thank you so much for your uh, repeated business, Christina. It's always been a pleasure, and you are a sweetie. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to say goodbye to Christina, okay? And then what we're going to do... Oh, yeah, also, I updated Aurora on this thing, by the way, as well. You were on the older version of Aurora, which would crash when you downloaded, um, you know, artwork and stuff like that. So, you know, I went ahead and re-updated re you on Aurora as well. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here... All right, we have... Mr. Melvin Nicholson, okay? Melvin, he purchased a console off the website from us. This one is a 250 gig drive, okay? So I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead. We're going to fire this thing up here. I'm going to sync this controller up, all right? And then we're going to swap on over the capture card, okay? And there you have it, all right? System booted, of course, RGH3. It boots every time, all the time, and then some. All right, and then we're gonna get we're gonna get into here. We're gonna get our notifications from the server and everything else. Hopefully, anytime soon. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Got it. Good. Okay. Oh, bypass the sign in. All right, here we go. Now, all right, and we're already up to date. Okay. Now, start off at the dashboard. We're gonna work our way through this thing. Okay. So we'll go to Xbox 360, and as you can see, you got your Battlefields on there, your Call of Duties on there. All right. The yeah, College Hoops 2K8, Gears of War series, Grand Theft Auto series, Halo, you know, NCAA Football 14 was College Football Revamped, Resident Evil, so on and so forth. Okay, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. And of course, you got your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have Classic Game on there. You got your, you got Tony Hawk's Underground. And then you have a couple of indie games on there. And then emulators, and I hate when that does that. Dang it. You download this thing here. Makes me nutty. There we go. A little flying freaking Mario. All right. That's how you download artwork, by the way. Just so you know. So we got Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. Okay. And then, of course, we'll go ahead. We'll make sure that she's right and tight. And there we go. And as you can see, it is up. It is online. A beautiful, eyeball pleasing HUD. And then over in our fifth tab, we have our cheats. In our second tab, we have X Community Beta, so on and so forth. Now, we'll drop that out of there. We'll go ahead, we'll bring it back up to Xbox Home, and we're going to take that back to Aurora. And again, Melvin, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. We're going to ship it off this afternoon. You'll have your tracking number and all that crap, including the link to the startup setup video, which you need to watch. Okay? Sorry I keep reminding people, but if I don't, for some reason, I, I get this man, hey, Tony, you suck at the Xbox logo. What's going on? Did you watch the video, the startup setup video? Ooh, I forgot about that. Yeah, you did. Watch the damn video, okay? So anyway, there you go. All right, so Melvin, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. All right, now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say goodbye to Melvin here. we got one more to go, which is going to be Mr. Eddie Perez. Fast Eddie. Hey, Eddie, what are you doing, eh? All right. Now, Fast Eddie here, he also purchased a two-terabyte Xbox 360 RGH. All right, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, and now we're going to fire this one up right here. Hang on. We're going to fire this one up right here. Eddie, this one is yours. Sorry about that. I forgot to switch over to the camera. Okay? I was going through all that. <laughs> all right. So anyway, we're going to fire this thing up here. I'm going to swap over to the capture card. All right. We'll sync the controller up. There we go. All right, and as you can see, it's booted. Life is good. All right, and then what should happen is, is we should boot up and we should get our notifications from our server, letting us know that it's online and live and all that crap. And you also have a 7200 RPM drive 
128 meg cache, two terabyte uh, mechanical drive in this thing. Okay. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I had someone that that got an SSD drive, which is a lot faster. But you know, I mean, hey, it is what it is. People, they want what they want, so you know, it's all good with me. All right. And the SSD is faster. It definitely is. You can definitely see the difference in it. All right. So anyway. All right, now, we'll go ahead, we'll hit Xbox 360, okay? As I said, it just takes it a minute, there we go. All right, and we start off at the dashboard, it's still pretty quick, if you ask me. Anyway, we start off at the dashboard, and as you can see, we work our way through. We got all of our Bioshock on there, we got all kinds of Call of Duties on there, so on and so forth. College Troops 2K8, all of your freaking Dead Rising and Defiance and Dragon, Dragon Lord and Dragon Balls and Dragon this and freaking Family Guy and Star Wars and... More Gears of War and Guitar Hero, bashing people's over the head with a guitar. Yeah, that works real good, too. Halo series, yeah, we'll bring back the metal days. Okay, Kane and Lynch, all right? All of your Lego Star Wars that you could ever want, and then some Lego out the yin-yang, all right? Baseball, Mass Effect trilogy, so on and so forth. NBA 2K10 through 17, NBA Jam, NCAA Football 10 through NCAA Football 14 with college football revamped, of course. NHL 12, Ninja Blade, PGR 4. You got all this crap on here, okay? And then some of your Resident Evil, Saws, Wrestling, Sonic, Spider-Man, Splatterhouse, all kinds of crazy stuff, okay? And, uh, yeah, and it was a bunch of wrestling on there, and you're all good, okay? So there you go. Now, go ahead, Xbox Live Arcade, okay? A ton of Live Arcade on there, as you can see. There is a ton of it, okay? So have a blast with that. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your indie games on there, right? You got a ton of indie games on there as well. And of course, you got a classic games on there. You got a bunch of Xbox, uh, original Xbox classic games, as you can see. Goes on and on and on and on and on. All kinds of artwork on there. And then, of course, some of them don't have artwork. There's nothing I can do about that. It's just the way it is. But the, the games still work and run. All right. And then, of course, you have your emulators on there, okay? You got MAME, you got PlayStation, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, and Back to Memories. I mean, MAME. Man, sorry. All right. Now, hit Xbox 360. We'll hit the dashboard. Make sure that she's up and running. She better be. All right. There we go. Bypass the sign in. As you can see, it's up. It's online. You got X community on there. And then, of course, you got your cheats on there. And your fifth tab, disable A, enable A. Very easy. Bring this back. We'll hit Xbox Home. Mr. Fast Eddie, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. We're going to get it all shipped off today, and uh, you'll have your tracking number. You'll have your consoles within two to three days, guys, okay? Just to let you know, that's coming USPS. And remember, you got to sign for these crazy things, all right? That way, then I have a record that you got it, okay? You see what I'm saying here, huh? I'm going to cover your CYA, you know what I'm saying? That's the way it needs to be. But anyway, listen, thank you again for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. Guys, listen, I hope that you all have a good day. Sorry I haven't been posting that much on Facebook, but... As you can tell, I mean, we've been going through all kinds of stuff, you know, Lorraine with her, with her soul, shoulder surgery and all that kind of good stuff. That really, but she's doing way better and she's doing great now, okay? And then, of course, you know, I had my uh, my eye appointment and my doctor's appointments and every freaking thing else under the sun. It's just, that's just the way it rolls, you know? Thankfully, they're all over with, so I don't have to go back and, uh, I, I hate doctor's office. I know that they're good for you. I know that they're supposed to help you and all that kind of good stuff, but man... There's only so much, uh, so much, so many times I can go to the doctor without cringing, okay, you know, it's just, ah. Uh. But anyway, I hope you all have a good one. I'm going to holler at you all later. Take care. Have a great day. I got a bunch of consoles I got to build. Talk to you all later. Take it easy, guys.